Welcome everyone to H1Z1 Early Access. This is Sony Online Entertainment's latest game testing release that will be running concurrently with Landmark, another early access game that's currently in closed beta. H1Z1 is a post-apocalyptic zombie survival MMO that will provide players a unique sandbox experience that will pit their skills against the natural elements, hordes of undead, and thousands of potentially hostile survivors. We'll be roaming parts of rural U.S. states, scavenging for resources, building shelters, and experimenting with the crafting system, observing as well as oftentimes engaging with the local ecosystem, along with a host of other game elements. Once you're in-game, you can hit your T key, and this will bring up your third-person view. WASD is your standard movement, although you can use your arrow keys. The scroll wheel will allow you to zoom in and out, and the movement of your mouse serves as the active camera. The I key or tab will bring up your character's inventory. Here you'll be able to see not only what you're carrying or wearing, but also your active account inventory and your overall stats. Other keys worth mentioning is the Q key, which is pushback. This can be used if you are being grappled. The G key will turn vehicle lights on and off. By hitting the F key, you'll get your HUD display, which will allow you to see your stats on the screen. I misspoke earlier concerning the mouse wheel zoom. The mouse wheel cycles through the hotbar, allowing you to utilize items you've placed in it or those items assigned to it. Hovering the reticle over objects will highlight those you can interact with. By hitting the E key, you can conduct a search and anything you find will appear in the inspect container. From there, you can simply drag and drop the items into your inventory. While you're out and about, you're liable to come across other players. So by using your number pad 4 or clicking the mouse wheel, you'll be able to utilize proxy chat. Hitting the escape key will bring up your settings where you'll find most of your game controls and their corresponding buttons. Since we're in early access, we'll have certain limitations to key mapping, so we can anticipate a number of changes as the testing progresses. In the published section below, I've linked additional information you may find helpful, including a map that was posted in Reddit, along with other useful sites, including that of the H1Z1 fan forum created by Trey, so be sure you stop by and tell him I sent you. For us longtime SOE members, we're accustomed to a few hiccups during these launches, so I wasn't able to get a whole lot of material for you. However, once most of the initial snafus have been taken care of, I plan on covering more aspects of the games here on YouTube, along with broadcasting some of my gameplay on my Twitch channel. A link to my Twitch channel can be found in the published section below. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video entertaining and informative, consider leaving a like, and be sure you're subscribed for future H1Z1 coverage.